I'm making yogurt in the Instant Pot this morning. I will bring half a gallon of milk um, up to 180 degrees on saute and then let it cool back down to 115. After that, I'll add in a quarter cup of just some plain um, yogurt and I will stir that and I will press the yogurt button on my Instant Pot and let it cook for eight hours. Um, we'll eat that with berries, nuts, honey, things like that for breakfast. And then over here in my slow cooker, I just have um, some of the frozen pork barbecue from Sam's warming up. And I don't have buns right now, but we are still in quarantine. So um, I do have frozen french fries and I will make pulled pork barbecue french fries with cheese on top this evening and my kids will love it. What are you making during this quarantine time? Hello everybody. I hope that you're doing well. Um, I thought I would talk to you about a few of the crafty things that I've been doing during this um, time of quarantine. Um, I have been knitting more dishcloths. I didn't pull those down, but um, I probably got three more finished. I ordered more yarn for dishcloths and um, I have the box here beside of me. And I thought that I would show those to you. Like I said, I'm using Knit Picks Dishy. I got a little package uh, deal where they sent two of these. I'm trying to get the light there. This is the Clementine colorway. That says spring and summer to me. I love these colors. I also got two of the conch color. Let's see if you can kind of tell the difference. This is more pinky. And Two of the Dishy Multi in Sunshine. These are shades of yellow. So these look like lots of fun to me. I am excited to have some of these in my kitchen myself. I also ordered one that was not in the list and that is mulberry in the dishy twist. This is like a plum kind of color. And I think it goes well with everything too. I only ordered one of these. But I'm excited to work on those. I also ordered from Knit Picks um, one of these little notebooks. I love the design on here. I love notebooks. I love pens and I love paper. Um, I'm a big stationary nerd. It's got blank pages. But it lays flat when you open it and I really like that. I was thinking it was lined and I was going to use it for my um, note taking during church but um, since it's not lined, I will probably use it for, I was thinking maybe an art journal. That would be fun. I'm not sure. I kind of wish I had gotten more of these, but maybe I'll order more later on. I'm not lacking for notebooks, so. Um, the only thing that I've been knitting on other than um, my dishcloth is socks. 
started this sock um, a few days ago. I ordered this from somebody's Ravelry D-Stash page. The, it is from Canon Hand Dyes. And it's called Lovers to Bed Tis Almost Fairy Time from A Midsummer Night A Midsummer Night's Dream in Shakespeare. It was in the Yarn Club back in 2012. It's an 80-20. And I really love it. It's got like a a navy and a pink and just a hint of purple and a light blue. So these colors are right up my alley. And then the contrasting color is the pink. And I've got my heel flap and gusset finished. And now I'm just knitting on the foot. So hopefully the next time I talk to you, I will have a new pair of socks. I did mess up and put, I knit one row with my, um, contrasting color when I was picking up for my gusset, but I don't care. I'm not that picky. Really, really like those. This is what it looks like all balled up. Isn't that pretty? And there's the contrasting color. I'm really enjoying working on that right now. I, I watch shows a lot of the times in the evening um, or we'll watch something on YouTube with my youngest son and while we're doing that I've been knitting on those. The other um, crafty kind of thing that I have to show you is some visible mending that I did. I thought this turned out really cute. This is where the actual little tear was. And um, I posted a picture on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this, but it's a little bit different. This is like a an aquamarine kind of color. And I used a combination of aquamarine and a white or an off-white to make these little crosses. And that's what I have posted on Instagram, but then I went back in and it just felt like it needed something. I can't remember if these little crosses were on there when I posted a picture or not, but then I went back in and made some little pink star or flower shapes right here. I may actually do more to it. I don't know, um, but it's kind of addicting <laughs> once you start. Um, but I like it. I think it's cute and it's a fun way to keep wearing those jeans even after they've gotten a little bit of a tear. Um, I don't really have any other crafty things to show, but I thought I would show that. Um, I filmed just a little bit of some things that I've been cooking but I have been cooking a lot during this time. It seems to me like um, right now all I want to do is cook and bake. And um, we've made so many things. And um, it's going to be bad for my waist. <laughs> um, but the kids are enjoying it. Um, I'll probably make some peanut butter cookies tonight. Um, we still have cupcakes in there from my uh, my baby girl turned seven yesterday and um, her older sister my second oldest daughter um, loves to plan parties and get togethers and things like that and it was right up her alley it gave her something to do during this time and she um, planned out exactly how she wanted to do it. I had to pick up what I could from uh, the local Dollar General. And we had to make do with what I could find. But 
she wanted some little um, clear cups. Um, she was hoping I could find like wine glasses, but what I found was more like just a short party cup. And she put Skittles in the bottom, and then she made white cupcakes with white icing and different colors of sprinkles. And put in the cup on top of that, and um, we had some fun candles, and we just tried to make it as special for her as we could. But um, she, uh, my other daughter, loved planning that out and doing that for her. Uh, she wanted a, another reborn baby doll for her birthday. She loves her baby dolls. And she has one that's reborn, and she wanted another, and um, so she got that, and we were able to buy a few little extras for the baby and put it all down in the box. So that's what she's been doing, is tending to that baby for the last few days. And um, I'm not sure what other news I have. Life has... For the most part, for me and the kids, just been carrying on as it usually does, minus um, get-togethers with friends and um, any extra classes that we may do uh, with co-ops or what have you. Um, we haven't been able to do that, but our schooling is pretty much staying the same, um, probably a little bit more relaxed than it usually is. Um, I've enjoyed having my oldest daughter home uh, she's a college student so she's been able to be here and it's been really nice having her here um, my uh, oldest son who is 17 is still able to keep his job he works on a dairy farm so he's not really around anybody except the owners it's a small dairy farm and um, so he's been able to keep that job going. Um, my husband is working from home um, and we're really thankful that he's able to do that during this time and um, our hearts really go out to people who have lost their jobs temporarily, um, people who don't have health care, um, those that are sick and uh, the people who own small businesses. So, anyway, I said all that to say that uh, I hope that you're well. I hope that um, you are uh, dealing with this um, crisis um, in a positive way. I hope that you're able to keep your spirits up. And um, let me know what kind of crafty things that maybe you've been up to. Uh, let me know what you've been cooking. Let me know um, if there are any good card games or board games you've been playing with your family or um, anything like that. Have you joined an online community that's helping you stay grounded? Are you able to check on your neighbors? Are your neighbors checking on you? Um, so, all of that. I hope you're well. Um, until next time. Bye. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Oh, try again. Smokiest candles ever. Okay. Wait. Okay, Do it. Out. Do it.